we uh, got another one here. Um, I know this has been a, a pretty commonly asked question from our friend Sheldon Clausen. Uh, what is the biggest difference between super foam and active foam? The classic foam debate. Yep. <laughs> you know, it's one of our greatest um, asked questions, I think. Yep. The hot, uh, hot foam talk. see it everywhere. Every Coach Kimmy yeah. video asks, yeah. what's the difference between super foam and active foam? Yeah. So, you know, active foam is more. So let's talk gentle snow foam first. Yep. That's your basic maintenance wash, and that's what it is. Good all around, just a basic wash. Yep. You go into the active foam setting, and then your your cleaning is a little umph, like it's got a little umph to it. So now your cleaning power is greater than it was with the GSF. So if your car's a little dirtier, then you're probably going to want to use you know active foam to clean it. Um, you don't want to use active foam to clean it every single wash. You know if you're yep. washing your vehicle, you know every couple of weeks or you know one time a month, and let's say it's coated, you don't want to wash it consistently with active. Um, mm -hmm. but it is fine on coated vehicles. I use it on mine. Yeah. It's no big deal. Yeah. Um, and then you've got super foam, which is more of your strip wash. Uh, mm -hmm. so higher pH on, you know, gradually goes up and then you get super foam. So that's going to be your more strip wash. Mm -hmm. If uh, you want to get rid of, you know, any sealants, waxes, such like that. Um, super foam really, it's not going to kill a coating. You know, you can go out and wash your vehicle with super foam. Yeah. It's not going to kill it. Mm -hmm. You just don't want to do it very often. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Str strong super, stuff. Super fun. Serious so stuff. Really so. is, it, all, it all comes down to just cleaning durability and your cleaning different levels. Of, you know, yep. depends mm -hmm. on how dirty your car is. So, yep. So, your yep. weekly wash, you want GSF. Your uh, quarterly wash, you want a little active foam action. And if you, if on, on my level, detailing the work truck comes in that just has, you know, years of grime built up on it, I'm pulling yep. out the super foam and I'm, I'm taking it to Nuke Town, is what I call Super Phone. I'm yeah, looking yeah. At <laughs> Nuke Town, Nuke USA, Town. and that's where the Green Star pre-treatment is oil. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Let's uh, let's take a minute to appreciate Green Star and how freaking amazing that mm. is. You know, I just I've been mixing. You know, we're our own self-acclaimed chemists. I know a lot of people love to mix a little <laughs> bit of Green Star with some GSF. Oh um, yeah, that's, yeah. Before Active Foam, know. that was the that was the you know the, the story. Yeah, but, so yeah, green exactly. Back in your, uh, GIO, but, uh, you have time. Yep. For our pH fans and your periodic table chemistry fans, the active foam is a pH of nine point five, and uh, just plant the active foam or the super foam. Sorry, is a pH twelve. So pH twelve more alkaline. Serious. Yes, um, yeah, it's some serious power there. Yep, I know I've got some bite, but uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but yeah, mm -hmm. I do love some of the uh, some of the different names. I'm just kind of on the the KSEX site now. The uh, the SFF, which is the Super Foam Fruit Bowl, I think that's yeah. a, that's a very Thank fun you. name. <laughs> so there's actually a, a holiday edition too. Oh, no, we don't. So, yeah, I forget the name of it though. It's like it might even be called uh, Xmas, Casey Xmas or something. <laughs> but um, yeah, it, it smells like you know cinnamon and all that peppermint Ooh. and such. So, but. Yeah. I doubt we'll ever have it in the states, due yeah. to we wouldn't be able to sell it faster. <laughs> we would have we would have like one container or one pallet of of that, and it would last us twenty years, probably. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. I know. Last time we talked to Andrew, the site was getting updated where you have to make a profile to buy like the more professional stuff like super foam and uh the coating. So mm -hmm. the super foam did get moved to that category. No, super foam actually didn't. We decided not to do super foam. Um, okay. Multi star. Multi star mm -hmm. for sure. Multi star FCL, or the, the acid wheel cleaner. Yeah. Yeah. That makes that sense. Yeah. So, because both of those are, I mean, they're up there. They're harsh. I mean, obviously the acids, well, it's acid. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, the no multi star, joke. yeah, you don't want to use multi star straight on anything unless you really have to because. It's pretty rough too. <laughs> I mean, it's strong right. stuff. Um, so it's very dilutable though. Um, you know, running at one to 40 is sort of what I do. And I actually use multi-star for a pre-wash a lot of times, you know, one to 40. Um, mm -hmm. I've gradually, I guess, gotten more comfortable with the pH levels and such, you know, yeah. working here. So, you know, I used to stay away from certain pH because I was a little nervous with it, mm -hmm. but it's really not as bad as it seems. And as long as you're diluting it, you're good to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when should you move up from Green Star 
multi-star? Is it when kind of you get more, you're like a higher traffic detail shop, something like that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, because it's more dilutable. So, yep. you know, you're going to be using less product and get basically mm-hmm. the same results. So.